Hey farm hands, Fumber Reef here. Welcome back to Hulk Reef. Today we are gonna hit back on the topic of uh, coralline algae in a bottle from Algae Barn. You guys have been asking for an update. Well, I'm finally gonna give you one. So, coralline algae in our reef tank, it's very healthy, it's very beneficial for everything that goes in your tank. You remember when I started the Hulk? It was all dead rock from uh, Marco's Rock. Here's some pictures here, what it used to look like. So by just adding the coralline algae in a bottle to Hulk Reef, started you know the life process getting the cor good coralline algae growing on the rock like they say like a lot of the older guys you know don't be pl placing sps or acros in your tank until you see coralline algae taking off it's going to make it more successful i totally agree with that point so it's been growing really really well all over the rocks nothing really on the glass right now there's a few odd spots it's all over my power heads and i just love the way and pleasing it looks to the eye I don't like the looks of that dead rock from Marcos. You always want to have that very vibrant colors. And I'm not a big fan of dead rock. Back in the day when we used to start our tanks, it was all live rock right from the ocean, but you know, it's not as ethical anymore to be taking live rock from the ocean. So we just use like dead rock from Marcos. But I always find there's a lot of problems with the dead uh, rock like that. You know, people get a lot of hair algae problems. It's just crazy all the stuff that can happen. but. If you can seed your tank down, you're gonna be a lot more successful. So this way, by adding you know, the live spores from the, from the laboratory at uh, Algae Barn, you're gonna get pest-free coralline algae spores into your tank. I see a lot of people, you know, they're trading coralline algae or you know, they're trading uh, like chato and stuff like that. It can be just full of pests and you're gonna introduce them to your tank. Adding you know, dead rock to your tank, you're not gonna get any pests. And that's what the whole process is here. Like I didn't add anything into this tank. It was dead rock, dead sand, right out of the gate. And by just adding those spores, created life in my tank. And that's one thing about being pest free of what it's all about. So, you know, it's been more than nine weeks, but I really want to show you guys how well this product worked like just give you my honest review on it because if it didn't work i would tell you but i definitely highly recommend this stuff so like anything you got to keep all your parameters in check in here your alkalinity calcium magnesium you know keep your uh, temperature around 78 but you got to keep all those elements in check for it to grow especially when you're just introducing the the spores in there because they you know they need everything to start growing on your rock the more coralline algae you have in your rock a lot of less nuisance algae like hair algae can actually grow because the coralline algae is going to take over that area and it'd be more successful and this is a lot nicer looking compared you know to having hair algae all over your rocks i can tell you right now i have no hair algae problems no algae problems at all so we're going to knock on wood because i don't want to jinx myself so you see some people are like you know oh i can't grow that in my tank nothing wants to grow and then you have some people like oh my god it's taken over my tank yes it can happen it can go crazy in your tank i have about five sea urchins in here they keep everything under pretty much under control they like to eat it as well on the glass i have no problems you know you could just scrape it off if you have any but everything seems to be growing uh right on the rock and on the power heads i find with the coralline algae too it likes to grow where there's not as less light so if it's a little bit darker or shaded you're probably going to see coralline algae there a lot faster like on my power heads or my uh flow uh, flow generator uh, nozzles it's on there because it's a little bit shaded from uh, the euro bracing around the side so it started to grow there first compared to being on the rock so if you're going to try and you can't grow the stuff in your tank just make sure and check all your parameters the temperature magnesium alkalinity calcium make sure everything's in check one thing I know that really boomed and really took off my coralline algae is when I added my Delta Calcwasser to it because I was raising my, you know, keep my pH at like an 8.3, 8.4, really helped that coralline algae just boom and take off. I'm seeing a lot more growth on my corals and all the growth on my coralline algae as well. So by just adding that Calcwasser, I feel like I'm getting a lot better growth than running it with my calcium reactor, so it's awesome. I am running the calcium reactor at the same time, but it's turned down to the lowest uh, setting possible just to keep it the water movement still getting my magnesium and everything out of there into my tank but definitely calcwasser old school but definitely does the trick for keeping that ph and everything is going to grow so much better and more vibrant so that is my update for you guys on the coralline uh, algae in a bottle from algae barn this is the purple helix i don't know where i put my uh, purple or my pink bottle to show you guys or the pink fusion but it's definitely a product to check out guys if you're just starting that new tank and you want to be pest free this is the product for you so 
Let's jump in here. Let's go around some of the rocks, power heads, show you guys all the growth on there just to show you that it actually works. Like you guys see the tank here, it's looking purple. It's pretty awesome and that's what it's all about. And some of the pictures right here before, you know, when I just added the rock, how dead it looked compared to what it is now. Reef has came like a long way, you know, since I added the coralline algae just from the dead rock. And that's what it's all about to get that biodiversity of all different kinds of algae growing in your tank. That's going to be beneficial. If you guys want to pick up some of this yourself, I highly recommend it. I'm going to leave some codes in the description below and a link to go get it so you can save some money and uh, definitely get this product. I'm all about the good products running on Hulk Reef, guys. I just don't, you know, say that it works or it doesn't work. Like I've been running this for a few months and I wanted to make sure that it actually worked before telling you guys. So it's definitely, you know, highly recommended and Hulk Reef, you know, speaks for itself on how well it works. So let's go check this out. All right, so let's start with some of the rocks here. You can see how, you know, a lot of the rock is turning that beautiful purple color. So there's one spot here, like this rock right beside these corals is in a lower area and it's not as bright. And you guys see how much coralline algae has taken off. I got a lot of that really purple dark color going on there mm -hmm. if you see beside the clam and stuff you see all the specks that are actually starting to grow so soon that'll take right over and that whole rock will be set with coralline algae on it and same here beside all these zoanthids see all the specks of the patches of the coralline algae on there and at night as well so when the blues are really turned on you can see the pinker fluorescent coralline algae on it as well and then here on my Tunzi uh, stream three pluses Get you a close in here you guys can see where it's all growing um on my on this one as well on the stream and then my flow generator see how bright and beautiful it looks very healthy looking you guys see across the other side of the tank on that one and on the other tunzi as well and even on the arch everything is turning it really nice and vibrant but it's really coming along i just want to show you guys you see back there it's all on those rocks as well the cores are looking good and vibrant. Let um, me go over here on these flow. Generally see how much purple and pink is on that rock. And here as well, all over the place. So I just wanted to show you guys how well that is coming along. Like that rock there, there is just coated. So there you go just a little update on everything's going and soon you know like this rock it, every day it, it, you know all these patches of coralline is growing more and more since i really turned on the calquasser it's really been taking off clam's happy wish i could really show you his true colors from above it's really wicked so that's my little update hopefully you guys enjoyed it i just want to show you how well that product works all right, so hopefully you enjoyed that little tour around Hulk Reef. I'll just leave a little video at the end. You guys can see how vibrant and beautiful Hulk Reef is coming along. What's awesome about this journey is going to be here for a long time, and it's going to be exciting to see all the corals, all the SPS, acros, everybody growing and maturing into a mature reef, and I can't wait to keep adding more uh, SPS and all kinds of different corals in here. There's lots of room for it to grow and I'm still building different uh, rock structures for it to grow and I can expand to add more corals and that's what it's all about. So, all right guys, hopefully you enjoyed that episode. If you could please smash that like button, it would be awesome. And if you could subscribe and tell all your friends, it would be even better. And I greatly appreciate everybody checking out this video. So please subscribe and hit that like button. <laughs>